Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin. In our last episode, we fixed the beat-up walls of our garage. And today, we're adding storage that can help us turn this tiny space into a workshop and still allow us to pull in both of our cars at the same time. The dream! So, this is what we started with. Some storage came with the house and some we added ourselves, but it was a hot mess. Our plan is to wrangle the clutter with metal pegboards, floating shelves, and a track system. We'll also ditch and shuffle around the existing storage and DIY a few things along the way. So let's get started. Pegboards were first on our list. The ones that came with the house were beat up and oddly spaced out. So we bought six steel wall control panels on Amazon for our new pegboard wall. To do this project, you'll need pegboard panels, a stud finder, a level, a power screwdriver, and screws. Our studs were too far apart, so we also got three 1x4s to bridge between them. To install, first find your studs and mark where they are. Then attach the 1x4s to the wall horizontally, screwing into each stud. We did three rows because these pegboards had three attachment points. Now you can attach your pegboards no matter where your studs are. Plus, these have a built-in standoff so you don't lose any space by attaching them to the boards. Screw them into your 1x4s and you're good to go. Then it's just a matter of hanging stuff up. I don't think we've ever had this much fun putting away our tools. Next, we tackled our shelves. The old ones were fixed in place with brackets and couldn't hold much weight. We found a rail system from Everbuilt that's adjustable and can hold all our stuff. To install them, we needed the rails and brackets themselves, a stud finder, a level, a drill, screws, and six six-foot 1x12s for the actual shelves. First, we had to find the studs. What? There are no studs above five feet. Ours were super wonky, so we went with plan B, another wall with normal studs. We marked them at different heights and used a level to draw vertical lines down the marks. This ensured our rail would hit a stud with each screw. Then we screwed two rails into the two studs we had marked. The brackets hook right in and we rested 1x12s as shelves directly onto them. We're excited about this system because it will be so easy to adjust in the future if we need to. We plan to use these for stuff like safety gear, product supplies, and miscellaneous hardware. We also installed short rails above our pegboard for extra wood and stuff we don't use as much. Next, we installed a Rubbermaid fast track system for long items, like our shovel, brooms, that sort of thing. To install this, you'll need the track system, hooks for it, a level, a stud finder, a power screwdriver, screws, and a 1x4 to bridge the studs. We screwed the 1x4 into our studs, mounted the rail to the 1x4, and added the track cover. The system is awesome because there are so many different hooks you can choose from. We snapped on the hooks and then got to work getting all our big items off the ground. It can even hold super heavy stuff like our ladder. After installing our new storage systems, we gave some love to our existing ones. First, we spray painted our chipped wire rack in semi-gloss white and rehung it in the same spot. We used extra paint from our walls on our cabinets. They used to be a flat white paint, which you can't really tell in the video, but it got dirty really easily. The cabinet knobs needed layers of paint sanded off them, so we chopped off the heads of a machine screw that matched our knobs and popped it into our drill. Then we spun it in emery cloth to sand off the old paint. We spray painted them semi-gloss white, let them dry, and screwed them back in. They're not perfect, but this is the best these cabinets have ever looked. Next, we scooted our giant U-line shelf back where it used to be to the left of the cabinets and filled it with our large, heavy items. We also turned an old dolly into rolling storage for under our U-line shelves. We added 1x4 spacers to bring the middle level with the ends, and screwed some plywood on top. It is perfect for heavy tile. It's awesome. Then we placed our rolling wood cart to the right of the cabinets. Using the same shelving system as before, we added a drying rack under our work table for products. Then we rolled our work table under the cabinets and it was a perfect fit. And now the moment of truth. Can we fit both of our cards? My battery's dead. Organized! <laughs>
We made a place for everything, and now we have the space to use our garage as a workshop. Plus, it looks so much better. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you found us helpful or entertaining. We'll take either. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!